there's just something about The Rock and Joe Rogan talking about the best boxer of all time. Uh, this is me reacting to them talking about it and adding in my input, which I know nothing about boxing, but who cares? Let's get right into this. The only, he can go to Ali with his hands. Ali had hand speed. See, Ali, there's, there's Ali before the, they forced him into retirement because he wouldn't fight in Vietnam. That Ali, if you go to like the Ali that fought Cleveland Big Cat Williams... That Ali is one of the greatest of all time. I mean, the greatest fucking. I never saw him fight in terms of movement, and he could move. Like I saw clips. I have a clip of Ali fighting in the, on the side here. Like Sugar Ray Robinson, but he was incredible. a heavyweight. Yeah, tall and switching stances and right. popping you with the jab, yes. and you couldn't touch him. And he's standing right in front of you with his hands down. Yes, that Ali was a different Ali. But then when they made him take three years off. Ali really Why? didn't train for those three years. Yeah. He didn't do anything. So when he came back against Jerry Quarry, all those years later, he's his physically, he was like soft. He didn't look the same. Like, pull up Ali versus Cleveland Big Cat Williams. So this is Ali Ali. And this is Ali when there was never oh, a heavyweight like him before. There yeah. was no one like him. He moves so fast. He moves like a lightweight, but he's just so quick. He's like a quick heavyweight. And no one knew what to do. And Cleveland Big Cat Williams was a fucking killer. It's a badass, yes. He was yes. a bad motherfucker. Like, look how powerful he yeah. is. Serious knockout artist. And Ali the Rock's would like, just yes, stand right yes. in front of him and just start tuning look him up. And he just starts popping him with the jab, hooks, and Cleveland was just trying his best yeah. to close the distance. What's happening? Is it freezing? No, it's a, it's a video breaking down the whole fight. Oh, I that. see. Look at that. It's not just the fight. In the gut. Doing stop motion once someone's explaining. Look at that, that. hook. <laughs> Jab That's... to the body and then the hook, and he's nowhere to be found. Catches him with the hook coming in, and then immediately off the ropes yep. and out into the Jesus. Side out. You just couldn't catch him. It's incredible, he was man. Something special, man. And then eventually he starts tuning Cleveland up and, and drops him a couple of times. He knew. He knew. This is the there end. Is. This yeah. is the end. And then he stands over wow. with his hands up. Look at this. Bang. 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 And then one the more. right hand. Oh. Bam. Just I mean, a machine, a punching man. machine. Nobody moved like no him. No one, dude. But Tyson, could you pull Tyson's up a picture? Of, uh, Dwayne Johnson, Muhammad Ali. I got to show you this picture, dude. What? Yeah. When got, did you meet Muhammad I, Ali? When I was a kid. Oh wow. In New Zealand, when I told you my dad was sparring with him. So here's a picture of me sitting on his lap. Do you oh. remember what year this is? This would have been seventy. Jeez, I want to see this picture. Wow. That cool, man. Ali and some little girl, but uh, <laughs> that's me. Wow. So, dude, how about this? Wow. So when I started the 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 nation the turn, the heel rock, right, that you saw earlier, not a white thing, not a black thing, you know, it's me, it's a respect thing. I started calling myself the people's champion just to piss people off. Mm. Like, I'm your champion, I'm the people's champion, and the rock is the people's champion, blah, blah, blah. And we were wrestling down in Louisville, Kentucky. If you're pissing people off, you're doing a good job. That's what I noticed on social media. Okay. And Ali's family came to watch. And his wife was there. Family was a big group. And afterwards, uh, they were waiting to say hello. Now, again, I'm going out there. I'm grabbing the microphone. And the people's champ says I'm just laying it all in. So when I come back, I say hello to the family, his wife. And I say, hey, I just want you to know... I, if you could let Muhammad know, I, I call myself the people's champion in a way to pay homage to him out of respect. Okay. But I'm going around the country saying it and people are shitting on me because that's what you want right. as a heel. And I said, I told his wife, so if you could please tell him if he doesn't want me to use this because I know what this meant to him being the people's champion, uh, I won't. And dude, she said, he told me to tell you it's yours. That was one message he told me to tell you tonight. I was like, well, I got emotional. It was just incredible. He was such an important cultural oh, figure. Oh, my God. Because he was the first boxer, the first, like, professional I guess he's the best. the highest regard, who stood up stood and up. said, the Vietnam War is wrong. I'm not going to go fight some Viet Cong. No Viet Cong ever did anything to me. They didn't call me I'm not going, over there. I'm not going over there. That's I'm right. I'm not doing it. And they took away his livelihood, and they did it for three years. Wow, that's back, why. A fucking hero. A cultural hero. My parents, who were hippies, yeah. made me, well, it didn't make me, but we all watched his rematch with Leon Spinks because yeah. it was on TV. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's how much he transcended boxing, the world of sports. Yes. He, he was an important figure for like the beautiful qualities of human beings. 
that this guy had character and stood up for something yes. that was more important than sports and told the world. He used his platform to tell the world, I'm not going to participate in this. This is wrong. Yes. And they took away his livelihood. And when he came back, he was a hero in a completely different way. Yes. And when he fought Leon Spinks and he beat Leon Spinks, everybody was like, oh, my God. Everyone was so happy. Yeah. It was like uh, just because when Leon beat. So is is Muhammad Ali the best boxer in the world? Is this where what we're saying? Who's the greatest boxer of all time? I don't think he actually said greatest boxer of all time, but anyways. Kim was like, no, no way. Mm -hmm. And then he had the rematch and he beat Leon, and it was like, oh my god, he won. Like the world was better. You felt it. The yeah, world was it. better. He was a guy, as you said, who stood up, and also it's one thing if you stand up, but it's another thing. I stand up. And the willingness to know I'm going to lose it all. I can lose it all. Yeah. And he did for that moment. You he know, they tried to take it all away. Also, what I thought about a lot when I was worried about brain damage. He, I thought about mm. him a lot when I was having headaches from these sparring sessions because he was already deteriorating by then. Mm -hmm. You know, this was, you know, after he fought Larry Holmes, and which was a horrible fight to watch. Where He's Larry so was quick. Just teeing off on him, and you knew that yeah. it was... The end was there, and he fought Trevor Burvick, and it's like, yes. Rev called it. Oh, these are horrible fights to watch. This guy who just needs a payday and can't let it go, and you know, and he was our hero. And now you're yeah. watching the worst cliched ending to a great career, a beautiful career, which is a mm -hmm. great boxer just getting beat up by the up and coming guys. Yeah, was sad. Really, and it I really remember. like ruined Larry Holmes's career. Because people hated Larry after that. And Larry was one of the greatest of all time. Greatest of all time, man. Out of Easton, Pennsylvania. And Easton also, Assassin. Yeah, Easton Assassin. Yeah. One of the best and it, and jabs just of doing all doing his time. Job. And just doing his job. One of the best jabs yes. of all time. Man. So not only were people hating him back then, but Ty that Tyson was watching that fight. Mm -hmm. Remember that? And Tyson yeah. watched that. And mm -hmm. he knocked out his hero. He beat his hero. Mm -hmm. And Tyson already made that promise. I'm going to come back and I'm going to... Well, there's a famous mo moment where Ali comes up to Tyson before he fights Larry, and, and he says, get this motherfucker for me. Like you said. In the ring. Like, yeah, he just walks up to him and says, get this dude for me. <laughs> wow. And, and Tyson is like, already just so charged up. Just already. I mean, it was this was like a yes. legacy-making fight. And when he knocked out Larry Holmes, it was like, everybody was like, oh, my God, no one's ever knocked out Larry. Like no, that. dude. That was crazy. Jesus. He was a big heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. He was a big heavyweight. Here it is. He comes up to him. It's like, look at this. Get this motherfucker for me. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at the nod. The light yeah. nod. And look at Tyson. Just <laughs> fired up. <laughs> but I'll tell you forward. something, man. Larry was older then. He was an older fighter. Yeah. You going to let it go? Wow. Okay. Larry was an older fighter back then. You know, back then, it was, this is 36, you know, in the age of no testosterone replacement. Yeah. And Larry had taken some time off and... You know, came back for this fight. He was still very, very good, but Tyson was on another level. Oh, it was just another level. He was just the new destroyer. He was the new Sonny Liston. That's he crazy. Was the new Joe Lewis. He was the new Jack. Phil Tyson would have beat the Something crap out of yes. Muhammad and Ali, but that's just me. Also, because of his um, his trainer had co all the videos of those guys, mm -hmm. so he watched all those guys and Cuss. studied their movement. Cuss and, and Jim Jacobs. That's crazy. His, uh... Anyways, let me guys know in the comments below what you guys think. Who is the best boxer of all time? I'm Joey. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace out.